No, Kobe that year should have gotten MVP. At least one of the years that Nash got MVP, it should have belonged to Kobe. I think it's both, personally, because I'm biased. But then the one, the, the, the season where he scored 81 against, um, you know, um, Toronto, the one where he scored 60 against Dallas in three quarters, which is like three fourths. I mean, like he sat out the whole fourth quarter because he basically out. I'm not gonna say Kobe. Hold on, Kobe's yeah. awesome, but there's but there's no way. All first, he's not. He doesn't average very many assists or very many rebounds. Like and, six a game. Like, career-wise, I think he averages, like, five, six assists a game. Yeah, like, five assists a game is not much. Larry Bird is a forward average almost seven. Yeah, but he's, he's not a point guard. He's a guard. Yeah, that's a guard. Yeah, that's I a, think there's, he's no way, he's, there's no way that a forward should average more assists per game than you, and Larry Bird averages more than Kobe Bryant. Like, he had the ball. And it's... <clears throat> well, anyways. Well, how can he average the Bird? I mean, that's impressive. But Larry Bird's, like, an all-time great, you know? Larry Bird is probably the greatest basketball player to ever live. Just be honest with you. Oh, that's a very white thing to say. How is he the greatest basketball player ever lived? What was your question again? How many, how many, how many times did, did he win the championship? Three. But let's look uh, what he did. Okay, let, let's look what he did. He though. had a good team. You know, Hold on a second. A lot of people say that, but let's let's take a look. You want me to analyze this for you real quick, man? Okay. Okay. okay how about this? Even the, even the whole classic, like Magic versus Bird. Magic Johnson or Larry Bird? Justin was saying that Bill Russell is the best player ever. <laughs> I think Bill Russell is one of the best. Like, Do you agree with that? Know. Would you agree Bill Russell's, like, top three, at least? Okay. Bill Russell played in an era where there was virtually there no... There wasn't that much competition. He was, a six foot, he was six foot nine in center, dude. Today, he'd be, he wouldn't be able to play center. He'd be way too tight. He'd play against Will Chamberlain, you know. Yeah, exactly. That's the only guy that was, like, seven foot in the league. Yeah. So, that, that, you can't... He didn't score a million era. points. He, he, he didn't score a million points. He won. But he, he defined what the center position was, basically, you know. And everyone else had to catch up. And yeah, he played in an era where there wasn't that much competition. I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah, you, you can't compare guys. That's like comparing Cy Young to today's guys. You know, he won 512, 11 games but you know, in pitching, but obviously nobody can do that today. That doesn't mean he's the best player ever. He, he played freaking pitch for 21 innings. Obviously, you guys can't do that today. It's uh, It wasn't the same game. It, it is. I don't know. I don't think you could deny, like, eight years in a row just dominating the game. I mean, these are men that he's playing against, you know, um, people that want to win, and... Uh, and he just he just won, you know. And I I'll, I'll basically put Bill Russell, Michael Jordan, and um, I'll I'll put them on the table. Kobe, you know, to be honest with you, I wanted to believe that Kobe is like in that group. <clears throat> um, he, I don't know. Um, right, I'll 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 give the I'll give you the argument of why Larry Bird's better, and you can. Okay, so then Jordan. Then Jordan. How about okay. that? Okay, you want me to compare the two of them real quick for you? I'll compare okay. Kobe, Larry Bird. <laughs> Most people say that Jordan's the best, so that's a good compare. Okay. First, let's take a look at this. Okay, his first year, Jordan wasn't even a starter on that team in college. Okay, look, we're going to go back to college. As a, as a freshman, he wasn't a starter. So they won, North Carolina won the championship, but you admit that James Worthy was the guy, the reason why they won that championship. It had nothing to do with Jordan, right? Okay, so James Worthy leaves. He was a senior. He leaves after Jordan's freshman year. I'm, I'm, everybody's open to their opinion, but let me finish my point, and you're welcome to make yours, but at least listen to mine, and don't, don't disagree until you actually hear my points here. Right. So, because I know Michael Jordan's like God in the basketball world, and nobody, how dare you even question that he's the greatest, otherwise you're, that, that's like blasphemy, but let's listen for a second. I'll, I've got a pretty good point, I think. So, it, it'll take a couple minutes, but I'm going to give you guys your time after this, and I'll shut up, trust me. Okay. I don't so, think North Carolina argument really has that much bearing. Of, of course on. it does, but of course it does, because you're, you're a player. But anyway, listen. So his his sophomore and his junior years, his next two years, Michael Jordan has Kenny the Jet Smith because everybody says that his first years in the Bulls he didn't have that many great players so he couldn't have won. But he had great players on his college team. He had Kenny the Jet Smith, a future All Star. Okay, he had Sam Perkins, another future NBA All Star. Brad Doherty who was the number one pick overall. These guys were all on his team, so he had freaking amazing NBA team there. Okay, he was a rookie though. College, on his college basketball team, no, as a as a sophomore. Oh, on a college basketball team. Okay, yeah, I don't team. care about okay. college. Yeah, North Carolina was great. So look, and neither one of those years, is, when he, with all those great players, neither one of those years could they even make it to the Final Four. Okay, that's pathetic. So Larry Bird, as a, he played with Indiana State, okay, and Larry Bird took them with a bunch of nobodies, and I mean, they were a bunch of scrubs. In fact, they had that entire team except for him the next year, and they couldn't even make the tournament the year after he left. He took them undefeated to the championship game. A bunch of nobodies. Ever since them again, have they ever made it to the uh, to the 64? But he didn't beat, he didn't beat Magic. Magic won. Magic. Magic had several other NBA lottery picks that were on his team. That's a little unfair, you know? Also, okay. when you look at... I could also make an argument that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar might be the greatest player ever. He's right up there, too. And Magic Johnson came right, comes right in and has Kareem on his team. Now, who did Bird have? 
they're talking about people that were Hall of Famers on Bird's team. But when Bird came to the NBA, he had Hall of Famers that were freaking old, okay? He had Dave Cowens, who was in his last year. He had Tiny, Ar- Tiny Archibald, who had two years left. These guys weren't the... This is the Tiny Archibald that's scoring 12 points a game, not the Tiny Archibald that scored 34 points in a game in 1972. There's a big difference, you know? Look at the numbers, not the names. So, 1979, Boston Celtics win 29 games, right? 1980, only one new player. They have two new players, excuse me. One of them is a bench warmer. What's his name? You probably don't even know his name anyway, but I can look it up. But he's, trust me, he was a bench warmer scrub. The other one was Larry Bird. And guess what happens? They go from 29 wins to 61 wins. That is the biggest turnaround in the history of the NBA. Larry Bird single-handedly turned that team, and they almost made the finals to face Magic Johnson. The Philadelphia 76ers, who were right in their prime, just barely eliminated them uh, and um, in seven games. So, very well could have won a championship in his first year. It was very close. He takes that team from 29 to 61 wins. Jordan now comes to the NBA. He comes from a crappy team, and they stay crappy. His first year, they have a losing record. His second year, they have a losing record. His third year, they have a losing record. Gets swept and by Bill Jackson comes in. Celtics, yeah, and Scotty Pippen. And Jordan did not play one year where he had a winning team record without Scotty Pippen. Go look it up. Not one year did he play without Scotty Pippen that they had a that they had a winning record. That includes the beginning of his career and the end of his career. Not once did they have a winning record without Scotty Pippen. That's pathetic. The greatest player ever, surely, can at least get you to 500, right? Now let's <clears> look. Hold on. Now let's look. What happened when Bird missed the whole 1989 season? The Celtics were 42 wins and 42 losses. He played six games that year. And they won them. So, without Bird, the Celtics actually had a losing record. That's with McHale. That's with Parrish. And I might add, his first year that he turned that team around, they didn't have McHale or Parrish yet. That's without McHale and Parrish. They they won 42 games. Bird comes back the next year, and they go back up to 58 wins again. Interesting, huh? Now, what happens when Jordan leaves? Jordan retires from one year to play baseball, right? What happened to the Bulls? Okay. The Bulls lost how many more games without Jordan? They lost two more games without Jordan. That's it. Two more did games. Did they win? Did they, they win? win? They only lost no, two more did games. No, they win at the end. When when Jordan was gone, did they win? They lost only two more games without. No, I, I, I'm talking about playoffs because regular season and the playoffs no, is a different. They made story. it to the Eastern. They made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, seven games against the Knicks to get to the championship game. Okay, and the, the, okay. by the way, the Knicks ended up going against the Rockets in the championships and went seven games. So they, they very well may have won a championship without Jordan, and no. they uh, they made it to seven games. And everybody agrees it was a phantom call. They they should have won one game. Pippen jumps out there and might have nicked the guy's finger for a three pointer. They let him have three three free throws and they won the game by a point. But so, again, like for so me, like that that really defines is perhaps, to win. perhaps they're a tiny bit worse without Jordan. But they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. The yeah, Celtics, they just can't win without the Bird. Celtics. So, the, the my, Celtics my definition without Bird. Hold on. on, the Celtics without Bird were the number one with Bird. They were the number one seed the year before and the year after. The year he's injured. They were the number eight seed, and if he didn't play those six games, they probably wouldn't even been in the playoffs at all. The Bulls were the number one Bird, seed. Bird is like top ten after you, what you've explained. Maybe he bumped up a little bit. I, I still have to say that you have to win to get like recognition of like being a great player. Because okay, when, when the game's on the line, when the game's on the line, every, all ten players on the court are like giving it their best, and it just depends on who who. It is the, that one player, or who is like you know one or two players? It could be one or two players, but at that like you know, the last final moments, who's gonna close the game? Who's gonna win? And that that really defines why I don't put Bird like up there in the top five. Would you uh, hold on a second? Are you saying that Bird isn't clutch? Bird is way more clutch than any player in the history of the NBA. Are you hold on a second? I don't okay. agree with that. I don't agree with hold that. Hold on. Oh yeah. Hold on a second, dude. I will find you some video clips. You want to see? He has Bird has. Cl- he's clutch. Bird has more game-winning shots than anybody in the history of the NBA, including Jordan. You know that? Don't say uh, he's not clutch. He's the number one clutch shooter in Kobe? the history of the NBA. Kobe's shooting percentage, no way. Not even close. Clutch. I'm talking about clutch. You mean like buzzer beaters and last-minute shots, right? Yeah. Bird was the absolute best, and he was the biggest trash talker of all time. No, he, he makes his team better. He demands more from his teammates, and he does it in a way where um, they follow. So he's a great leader. Um, and and he and he, he does it not... Like Kobe, Kobe's a great leader. Jordan's a great leader. We have all these like great like leaders <clears throat> and a bunch of different teams. The only one of them that only one of them took a crappy team and turned it into a great team immediately. That's the biggest turnaround in the NBA history. You know that twenty nine wins to sixty one wins. Players are a different story. This is why like San Antonio wins because you know like by the way, Jordan played be- for two times in the playoffs and didn't win one game. He was swept both years. You know that. Say that one more time. 
Bird played against Jordan two times in the playoffs, and both years Jordan's team was swept. They didn't win one game against Bird. When was this? Uh, when, did, when did Jordan play against Bird and lose? 86 and 87. Oh, yeah. This is like when he, before, like, this was when he was like his, like, his first two years when his team was like a, like, seven seed or something. Yeah, so why didn't yeah. he turn his team around? That was what I want to know. When Bird yeah, took who? over, oh, when okay. Bird took over the Celtics. Jordan like wasn't developed. Had... Jordan wasn't developed. There's no way you're gonna put Jordan, you, there's no way you can put Bird on top of Jordan. So make your argument that Jordan's better. You can't just say you can't. You gotta make an argument for it. Okay. Yeah. I'll de- debunk everything you have to say. Hey, was okay. both Jordan and um, Bird tra- ever traded? No. No. Yeah. Also, Jordan is little you can't trade them. <laughs> Larry Bird. Larry Bird never had one season he played that the Celtics didn't win over 50 games. Jordan had many times where the Bulls didn't win 40 games. You're talking about his like rookie season. He had five or six years where he did. Okay, but then Jordan, Jordan also led them to 71. He also led them to 71 wins, which Bird never did. I mean, you can't compare like things like, oh, he never did this. He right, did let's, look, let's look. Jordan, at his, let's, let's look at his. Jordan never points. averaged more than 30 points a year in a year. He had 29. And points Jordan did that like, like 10 times. He had 29.9 points per game, but he had a much higher field goal percentage. He also had more assists per game than Jordan, even though Jordan was a guard and Bird was a forward. In fact, it wasn't even very okay, close. And, 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 at the end of the day, he also had uh, far more like rebounds. Yeah. He had eight or uh, six rings at the end. Playing against watered-down expansion teams. They, look at the teams in the 80s compared to the teams in the 90s. He was playing against Bird. Yeah, he never won a championship when Bird was playing, no. Not until he against a team. He was playing yeah. against um, Hakeem. He was playing against Ewing. He was playing against, like, Stockton and, Malone. And who and had... Hakeem. Okay, so you're going to compare a team that had Hakeem Olajuwon. Name another star that was on that team. Kenny Smith. And Kenny Smith's a star. Okay. Well, I no. mean, you were, you were trying to say that. But anyways, he's, uh-huh. he's made an NBA All-Star. He's not a Hall of Famer. No. So let's compare that team to teams Bird had to play against. Yeah, they had Ori. They had... Um, uh, no, they, I mean, well, anyway, Hakeem was also a Matt. Let, let's he, compare he that to Matt. playing against... Let's compare that to playing against Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, Byron Scott. Um, who else is on there? Uh, several other Hall of Famers yeah. on that team. That's just a few of their Hall of Famers on that, on that Lakers alone. How about the 76ers you had to go through in the East? How about Dr. J, the all-time steals leader in the Hall of Fame? Um, how about he had Moses Malone on that team? He had Daryl Dawkins on that when team. When Bird won, when Bird won, finally, he, when he won a championship. When he finally when won he a championship. You, you mean in a second year? <laughs> a um, second year, you mean? When he, he won in a second year? He won in a second who, year. Who did he, he almost won in his first year. Who did he win with? Okay, I want you guys to watch this. Do me a favor, just for a second. Watch this two-minute clip right here. <clears throat> Oh, I'll give you, just Google like eight minutes of Kobe clutch. You just, just gave give me like this clutch, like whatever. Let, let's see this. I'll watch I it. I know Kobe's clutch. Oh, game winner look, in my look up who has the highest percentage of game winner shots of all time. It's Larry Bird. I guarantee you. There's Bird winning the game over Michael Jordan, and that was when Bird was old and Jordan was in his prime. Bird's like 35 years old there. You already know he's gonna hit it. I said you knew that was gonna happen. That no. wasn't in Jordan's face. And that's not Jordan's that, that man. Was, that was in Jordan's face. It wasn't face. in Jordan's they face. They doubled you have Peter. to understand that. Okay, so, like, you know how people say, like, Jimmy Lynn scored 38 on Kobe double. and then there's, there's creating plus, this. Plus. You haven't finished now. Jordan du- double teamed him and he hit it over both Jordan and Pippen, two of the best defenders. No, right? Jordan didn't double team him. No, he came no, wait. Up defense. Hold on. Wait now. There's three seconds left on the Pippen clock. Can't defend Bird. Hold on. There's three seconds left on the clock. Guess what's going to happen? Jordan will come back down, and Bird is going to block a shot. No, I, I, I know. Bird is going to block a shot. He's not double teaming. He's not double teaming. Because he Bird, knew what, what he was going to do. Bird comes over. But just shows how great Jordan is. He just knows. Jordan you know never me? had one winning season without Pippen, dude. Come on. Bird never had Anyways, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Anyways, I'm not going to agree. Hold on. So what do you have to say? Wouldn't the greatest player ever, how can the greatest player ever have losing seasons? You know what? Let, let, let's, let's look at, you know, this is the last thing I'm going to do. Well, Michael Jordan bio. Favorite player of all time. <clears throat> how many minutes he played in his first couple of years? Oh, he did play a lot. Except for his second year. Second year, he only played seven games. No, he started seven games. Michael Jordan played, played like eight yeah. games in the second year. He got injured. It's funny that, you know what's funny about that too? Jordan's second year, his first year, his team did not make the playoffs, right? You understand that, right? No, I do. Go on. No, 1984-85 is Jordan's. Trust me, I'm like an encyclopedia. You know how I don't have to look it up. I'll tell you right now. Jordan's first year was 1984-85. Okay. In that year, the Chicago Bulls did not make the playoffs. His second year, he missed almost the entire season. And guess what happened? The Chicago Bulls made the playoffs in the second year. Interesting, huh? Had nothing to do with it. <laughs> it doesn't. And, and make really, the playoffs without him, but don't make it with him. No, well, his team dynamic. Well, I, I really don't. I, I don't care about his first couple of years. 
Because that's not why Jordan was great. It's not because of his first couple of years. He yeah, was not right. like. So you just throw away anything you don't want to. Awesome. No, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, that's not why Michael Jordan is greater than Bird. Like, yes, like Michael Jordan has things that you, you can say that, like, oh, um, this is why you know Michael Jordan isn't great. The way the way I see it is like these are the reasons why he's great. You know, reasons that he's great. Well, he's clutch. I think he's more clutch than Jordan. In the playoffs, who has a higher um, playoff of points more per? Clutch. Yeah, uh, how many? Like the off, off, like he carried his team, basically. He made like Bill. Are you Cartwright, talking about Bird or Jordan? Her, uh, Tony Kukoc. She made them look like stars. Why? Because everything was, every, everyone. All they had to try to do was try to stop Jordan. And and yeah, Larry Bird had you know like you know like, there weren't that many power forwards that you know can defend that well. And the thing is, as a if if you get a power if you're a power forward, huh? there's a lot of. No, Michael Jordan was obviously the more popular player, but then, and then he's saying that Larry Bird is being underrated because, um... If Larry Bird's black, then you think he's the greatest player ever. I'll say No, it had nothing to do with him being white or black. (laughs) Him being white actually made him, you know, like, more recognizable. It made him a lot less popular, I'll tell you that right now. No, I think it has to do with flashness. It's never advantageous to be... uh, I can do this. I can tell you a million times. It's never advantageous to be white in sports, okay? Who is the only boxer in the history of of sports, of heavyweight championship, ever to win the belt and not have a loss in his career. Rock, Rocky Marciano. Who's yeah, more famous, famous, though? Muhammad Ali but, lost five times. Who's more famous? Rocky Marciano fought the same guy that Muhammad Ali fought. Rocky Marciano fought to a number of Hall of Fame boxers. He fought Jersey Joe Wolcott. He fought. He knocked out Joe Lewis. He knocked Joe Lewis completely out of the ring. You know that? Joe Lewis got knocked out of the ring. He knocked him completely <sighs> unconscious. Out of the ring. Tell me... Tell me. <laughs> Jay, what's up, Jay? Now, Gray, we know Marciano. Rocky Marciano never loses a fight, but his opponent is...